Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. In this video, we got the Traxxas Summit, we got the 1 8 scale buggy, and we're gonna take both of these vehicles all the way up the ramp in a demonstration to show exactly what happens with this brushless motor, as well as the one in the Traxxas Summit when it comes to censored versus sensorless power systems. Let's go through the demo. Quite an exciting topic for radio control cars. Let's dive right into it. We're gonna start off with a censored system here. We're gonna try and stop the vehicle at the very top centering up the tires on the top of the ramp. So I'm trying to use the control of our censored setup right now, just barely touching the throttle, getting that control and using it so I get exactly right there where I want to be and I can send the car all the way back down to the bottom. Now what I'm going to try to do here is go absolutely as slow as I possibly can up the ramp, very controlled in a very controlled manner. If I get a little too slow, it shouldn't matter. See, I get a little too slow compared to what I wanted and it didn't even matter, it did not care. And I'm going to stop it right at the top of the ramp again, and I can send it back down. And the final time here, we're going to actually try to hold it in position so we don't fall down the ramp at all. We're going to go up a little bit and stop. And then we continue, and then we're going to stop again. Look at how much control we have, and you don't have an abrupt amount of throttle that comes back in forcing any sort of wheel spin or anything like that. So we can send it back down the ramp and we're going to try it now with a sensorless system. So here is our sensorless system. Same thing, we want to stop at the top there. So you can see that it doesn't really matter when we're maintaining constant speed until now when we've got it too slow. And I get a little crazy with the throttle there, probably a little unnecessary, but I can't get it perfectly on spot there. It wanted to hesitate and the ESC and the motor was not in sync with one another. So the second pass here, we're gonna go as slow as we possibly can. You can see I'm getting it too slow. This is too slow for a sensorless system. At this speed, the ESC and the motor are not in sync with one another. So we'll get the vehicle to the top here of the ramp and we'll send it all the way back down. And now we're gonna try to come up the ramp in a controlled fashion, stopping in certain sections of the ramp. So we'll make a stop right here and we'll try and hold it in position. Every time we hold it in position, you can hear that there's a bunch of hesitation and clicking noises. This is because there's not enough speed for the motor to actually get in sync with the electronic speed control. And every time this happens, that electronic speed control wants to send a blast of power to the motor in order to get it up to speed so that it can stay running. And this is where you get sometimes a little bit more wheel spin. You'll see it once we move here to the 1 8 scale buggy. So I'm going to show just how smooth we can get it. We're not going to run through the same passes as we've just gone with the the uh, Traxxas Summit, we're going to show exactly how smooth this system is here with our 1.8 scale buggy. And remember, this thing is capable of 100 kilometers an hour, so low speed capability is not what this thing is for. And you can see that the amount of control that we have with this 1.8 scale buggy with the censored version of this motor here is extremely good. We're utilizing all that control and we can get to a very, very slow speed with this motor on every single pass that we make here. So we're still operating in censored mode. I haven't pulled the sensor wire yet and we're making our way up. You can see how slow we're able to take this vehicle all the way up the ramp here and without issue, we got all the control on the way down. I'm not using brakes, I'm actually using throttle to hold position in every single one of these instances. You can really hear the noise of the brake that it makes. So this is all throttle that is holding the position in every one of these pauses. So lots of control with the censored version. Now we'll switch over to sensorless mode by unplugging our censored wire. We can send the car up the ramp already hear that clicking noise however if we maintain speed and we're not really talking about much speed here watch we maintain a very slow speed and we can keep that ESC and motor in sync with one another and make all the way to the top of the ramp now if we get too slow like you see right now this is where we get issues with the sensorless setup. That noise that you hear in your powertrain in the radio control vehicle is because the motor and the speed control are not in sync with one another and that speed control is trying to find the position of the motor. Now if you want to know more information, take a look at the other videos. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can see exactly the differences in detail between censored and sensorless motors as well as 
has another video that talks about the application of censored and sensorless motors. You don't need a censored motor in all applications. Now let's take a look at what this looks like when we slow down the footage. So here we get a censored motor power system and you can see there's very minimal wheel spin as we start to climb up the ramp here. And we're gonna stop it here in a moment. We're gonna stop it right here and then I'm gonna show you the amount of control that we have as we begin to start it again. Very, very minimal wheel spin, very controlled performance we get out of this power system. So now what we'll do is we'll switch it over so that we can get it in sensorless mode. Here is sensorless mode and already you can see how violent all the action is here in the power system. The front wheels are bouncing around, the rear wheels bounce around. You'll see that in a moment here as we come to a stop. We lose our synchronization between the ESC and the motor and now you can see all the wheels and the body and everything is feeling it. Then you get a surge of power that comes through and this is the ESC trying to push more power than you've actually requested with the transmitter in terms of speed it gives it a little bit more extra speed to get back in sync and there's the wheel spin that you see and then it gets in sync and is able to pull away so we'll bring it back down so you can see again just because i think this is so cool to be able to see the synchronization process happening here as you send power to the motor so we send a bunch of power to the motor and then we let off and as soon as we let off we get too slow and that's when we lose the synchronization the buggy actually slides backwards because it doesn't have enough power to get it up the ramp we're trying to hold it here and we'll give it a little bit more throttle here and as we slide down the ramp we're gonna steadily increase the amount of throttle so we can climb back up the ramp and you can see we're getting a bunch of small minor wheel spin here not too bad but I'm really trying to be super slow on the throttle which is why we ended up slipping all the way to the bottom of the ramp so very very difficult to get the control here and I have to say this again that the power system that we're using here is very good the actual synchronization of the speed control and the motor is probably one of the best that I've seen in many different radio controlled systems when you're trying to relate the sensorless power system here. So chances are you're going to see a lot more synchronization issues in your specific vehicle. This type of action that you get is typically referred to as cogging in the RC world. Well guys, that pretty well does it for this video. As always, like the video if you do, and don't forget to hit that sub button so that I can see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next one.